Reading for pleasure is one of the best things we can do for our health. It calms us down, it helps us to relax, it eases the symptoms of anxiety and depression. Finding a little bit of time every day to sit down, to lie down, to read a good book, it's important. It helps us. It's good for the soul. I've just finished my last fiction book. I got rid of all my others when I moved a couple of weeks ago. So at the moment I've got, I've got nothing. All I've got is, um, ew, Iraq since 1958. Hardly the most, um, the most stimulating book. So, I'm going to need some, some new books. I've got £10 to spend. Let's go find some books. Perhaps if you take a bag, Churchill. Primarily, I like sort of um, older books, sort of stuff from the 30s, the 40s, a uh, bit of Graham Greene, something like that. Although, after my dissertation, I've had enough Graham Greene for the moment. It's about to start raining. Uh, maybe something a bit um, European as well. I'm doing um, French at the moment, I'm studying French, so... Eventually, I'm hoping to be able to read um, Journey to the Centre of the Earth by Jules Verne in the original French, but can't do that just yet. So maybe a bit of Jules Verne. Uh, something, something European, maybe. That's the kind of, kind of thing I'm looking for. With the main bookshop in town closed up tighter than Hannibal Lecter at a key anti-convention, I headed to the other end of the high street and Oxfam, where I found some interesting books. Okay, so in there I got Vanity Fair by Thackeray, uh, Les Mis by Hugo, and um, one I read, oh, shit, and one I read um, years ago, which is now slightly wet, uh, The Snows of Kilimanjaro by Hemingway, because you can't beat a bit of Hemingway. And the next stop is the Red Cross. Alright, I lied, it wasn't the British Red Cross, it was the British Heart Foundation, because I always get confused between the two. And I didn't really find anything in there, apart from this this one book by some, some guy you've probably never even heard of. And by the time I came out it was raining. Like, really raining. So I couldn't film anymore. However, whilst I was um, unable to film because of the rain and because the last two shops were too small to film in and too crowded, I did pick up some books. From the cancer research shop I got uh, Gallows Thief by Bernard Cornwell. He's... I don't read many modern books, but he's one of the few that I will read. And from there I also got uh, John Le Carre, uh, one of his uh, recent ones. It might be, is this his most recent one or the one before? No, this isn't his most recent one, but it's one of his more um, modern ones, uh, Most Wanted Man. And from the British Heart Foundation I got another John Le Carre, the spy who came in from the cold. Alright, so I didn't find any Jules Verne like I wanted to. 
there was a weird absence of Jules Verne's. Maybe if Snowden books had been opened, maybe I'd have found one in there, but, you know, I spent, what, £6.75 and got six books for that. That's, that's pretty good. They were all from charity shops as well, so the money's going to a good cause. And these will keep me going till Christmas now. Maybe beyond, depending on how long it takes me to read them is.